Greetings. This lesson is on IV drip rates. So sometimes in the hospital we have to figure out how many drops per minute to administer and we'll be giving we'll be given uh, some information as far as how many liters over so many hours um, something like that. So basically what this um, these type of problems are done the same way the other ones are. Sorry. We, st we need to end up with drops per minute, right? Now you can think of that as a speed, right? Just like if um, someone asked you, you know, how fast is your car going in uh, feet per second? Uh, it weighs 2,000 pounds. That wouldn't make any sense. They have to give you a speed to start off with. So they could say, how fast is your car going in feet per second if it's going 60 miles per hour? So to end up with a speed, we have to start with a speed. So the speed we're starting with is 2 liters per 8 hours. So we have to go from here to there. So what do we have to do, really? We have to change liters into, into drops and hours into minutes. So let's do the easy one first. Okay, so there's 60 minutes per hour, of course. So we need one hour on top, 60 minutes on the bottom. Now we've changed liters into drops. We know that the drop factor, that's how many drops per ml, is 20 drops per ml. But we have to go from liters to mls first, of course. So there's a thousand mls per liter. And now we have to go from mls to drops. So there's 20 drops per ml. Okay, so let's double check everything. Always got to double check. Okay, so we have drops per minute, drops per minute. Now we can take out the calculator and do the calculations. So we've got 2 divided by 8, divided by 60, times 1,000, times 20. And that gives us 83.3. But of course, uh, you can't have a fraction of a drop, so you run that to the nearest drop. We have 83 drops per minute. Okay, thank you. Okay, so sometimes we're given a problem where uh, we have a dose that is in so many milligrams per kilogram per hour, and we have to calculate how many uh, drops per minute uh, we need to administer. So this problem is set up um, pretty much the same way as the other ones. It's a little bit different. Uh, before I get to this setup, I want to explain one little thing here. Is three milligram per kilogram per hour it means three milligrams for each kilogram per hour, and that is the same mathematically as three milligrams per kilogram times hour. So we're just going to use this form right here in our equation. Okay. So let's just erase that for now. So we have to end up with drops per minute. Okay, so remember, that's a speed. So we have to start with a speed. So the speed we're starting with is the 3 milligram per kilogram per hour. So we're going to re rewrite it as 3 milligram over kilogram times hour. Now the patient weighs 80 kilograms. So we're going to have to factor that in. So we're just going to multiply by 80 kilograms and that will give us how many milligrams per hour we have to administer. Now, we know the drug, there's five grams of drug in one liter. So that's the same as 5,000 milligrams per 1,000 uh, ml. So we're just going to simplify that. Because we have to go from milligrams to drops. We have to go from a weight to a volume. So that's our conversion factor to convert from a weight into a volume. Okay, so we have 1,000 mLs per 
thousand milligrams. Okay, so we stopped right now, we have mLs per hour, but we need drops per minute. So let's go from mLs to drops, and we're going to be using that right there, which is in the way, so let's erase that. So 20 drops per mL, and we left the easy one for last, let's change hours into minutes. So there's of course, 60 minutes for one hour. So I didn't leave much room for the answer, but that's okay. So let's just double check here. Um, we have drops per minute, drops per minute. And that's what we want. So now we can do the calculations. We have three times 80 um, times 1,000 divided by 5,000 times 20 uh, divided by 60, and that gives us 16 drops per minute. And we're done. So I, I know it seems a little complicated, but uh, the good thing about these pharmacy math problems is they're like little puzzles, okay? So when you work them, you get the advantage of having a free puzzle to work. and. Uh, you also get to do the calculation. Thank you.